Hi, I'm Karin Kusama, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Now I'm going to introduce the Parallax View, the 1974 masterpiece from Alan Pakula, starring Warren Beatty in a paranoid thriller about a multinational corporation that hires assassins to carry out its political business. This is probably one of the more important movies of my youth because when I discovered this film I think I was a little bit too young to really understand its implications. I was just much more interested in watching every Warren Beatty film ever made at the time. And I think this movie is so important because it remains relevant even 35 years later. It's pretty, pretty stunning to me that it has this air of mystery and a sense of unanswered questions that I think for a film today you could not go without answering. And the fact that the film leaves so much to the viewer to have to sort of tangle with in terms of the paranoia of what would it mean to have corporations essentially responsible for who's in power in government and who lives or dies literally in government and who hires sort of secret armies to carry out their dirty deeds, I think that question remains even more relevant today. And so the film is an incredible aesthetic achievement on its own, and it's, it's got an, an incredible air of mystery and darkness, literally because Gordon Willis's photography is often so dark, you're struggling to sort of understand everything you're seeing in the frame. And then also Michael Small's score is so incredibly minimal and effective at sort of keeping the audience uh, in a state of unease, in a state of deep discomfort. And I think this question of the hero played by a major, major movie star like Warren Beatty remaining uh, endangered through to the very last frame of the film, that there is no sort of truly heroic moment, that, that that's actually a very bold statement for a film of any sort of Hollywood ilk to, to be making. There's something incredibly powerful about such a hopeless vision of America. And I have to say, I still watch this movie and feel like it's speaking directly to the audience in terms of asking them to ask questions. And it seems like the great movies demand that its audience ask questions. And The Parallax View is an incredible example of that kind of demanding filmmaking that it would be wonderful to see more of now. There will be no questions.